Okay, let's now go over the types of weathering. We have physical weathering and chemical weathering. They both have the same goal. They both break down rocks, okay? Physical weathering is a physical change, which is a change in appearance only. And a couple of factors or agents are responsible. You have wind or winds. You have water. Okay, these can lead to what is called abrasion. Think of abrasion as you're riding your bike, you wreck, and it, uh, uh, some of your skin is rubbed off. That's abrasion. You have ice wedging, which happens when ice freezes, expands, and breaks the rock. You have changes in temperature and pressure. Uh, both of these expand and contract the rock and can weaken and fracture it. They can exfoliate it. And then you have plants. Their roots grow up. And even animals can break down rocks. All these are physical changes. Now with a chemical change, you get a new substance is created. And a couple things happen when you have a chemical change. You may get a change in color. You may get a change in odor. You may get a change in temperature. You may get some fizzing, bubbles, and you may get an explosion. So think of whenever you light, strike a match, you get a change in odor, change in color, and change in temperature. I have some handlebars here, and you can see some more a chemical reaction. You have rust, and the oxygen is reacting with the iron, and so you can see how there is a change in color, okay? So now let's go through how this happens in weathering. A couple things. Let's start first with rust or oxidation. And what happens is, is the oxygen in the atmosphere reacts with the iron in the rock and it, causes, it create, turns it to rust and weakens it. Okay. Next, you have water, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Uh, they all combine and create uh, acid rain. And the acid rain can lower the pH of the rainwater to 4.5 or 3, okay? So it's a mild acid. Uh, it can create a carbonic acid, okay? Which will dissolve the rock. And then the carbonic acid releases hydrogen and that can lead to hydrolysis. And probably the most famous thing there is feldspar being converted by hydrolysis to clay and then some plants technically lichen is not a plant but lichen is um, a, a combination of fungi and algae and it releases a slight acid on the rock and that breaks it down so those are some examples of chemical weathering and the goal of both physical and chemical weathering is that it breaks down rocks and then erosion can come along and move this rock away. If you'd like to know more about weathering, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moon Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.